Bill Belichick. I just got your text. Uh, that? Multi- <laughs> multiple, <laughs> multiple, <laughs> uh, multiple TV gigs, and apparently uh, he is the a, an overwhelming favorite, a one to two, if you will. Got to lay two hundred to win a hundred to be a head coach in the NFL next year. And a report that came out says that is his focus. He is absolutely going to go back to coaching next year. Uh, This is not going to be a two-year run in the media. He's going to go back to being a head coach next year. So a uh, sports book overseas has decided, well, we're going to put our name in the hat has come up with odds on who Belichick is going to coach in 2025, right, based on the reporting that he will be back after this upcoming season. And so we have got game show music here, live studio band. And I got the list of teams here that are the favorites to hire Belichick as their head coach next season, and I've got odds. Who would like to go first? Uh, I'll go first, Jonas. All right. Who do you want? Uh, as far as the odds for it. I mean, like pick a team. team. Is- pick a team. I'll tell you. If oh, they're in uh, the top. Dallas Cowboys. That is correct. They are the favorite. Even money on the Dallas Cowboys hiring Bill Belichick. Uh, which I guess, assuming people have not paid any attention to what happened with uh, with Robert Kraft or when, you know, Jerry Jones has to deal with a, a coach who wants to do it his way. I don't know how that one would work, but the Dallas Cowboys are sitting there at even money. Hmm. Let's, stay in the, let's stay in the NFC East. Oh, let's, wow. go, let's go Philadelphia. That is right. Six to one. The Eagles are third. Well, well done third well from the top all right so the cowboys are number one the eagles are three at six to one so that is something that alvar breer speculated about uh, when belichick was looking around to try and be hired elsewhere and atlanta kind of decided we're going to go in a different direction so the philadelphia eagles are sitting at six to one all right brady quinn you are next up here as we play the bill belichick 2025 hiring game this gets tough. I think this gets difficult because um, you got to think like what other teams potentially could be moving on from their head coach. We saw a lot of movement this uh, this past off season. Oof. Um, is Chicago up there? I mean, I, I know Matt Eberflus is kind of somewhere uh, around on the hot seat, even though it wouldn't make a ton of sense. That is correct. The Chicago Bears are eight to one, fourth what? from the top as being a potential landing spot, according to these odds here for Bill Belichick in 2025. Hey, what's not? I can think. LeVar, what's not? I I can think of like one more. I got like one more team in my mind, but I don't think he'd ever do it. Uh, LeVar, LeVar, what's wrong with Chicago? Belichick in Chicago. That's a great tradition. They just hired a new coach. No, Iberflus has been there a couple of years. Like what's a couple of years? Like two years? One? Three? Oh, yeah, that's long enough, I guess, these days. Okay. All right, right, LeVar, you're next up. Uh, I'm going to go with Jacksonville. Mm, Good call. Nowhere to be found near the top. What? These are all teams. No way. All teams 12 to 1 and lower. Nowhere to be found. Get out of here. I got got a low lower. I got a low lower. Get out of here, Jonas. What, what's your what's your next pick, Q? I got a low blow pick. Like it's definitely a low blow. Might not mine, be on the list, but it'd be funny. Mine would be the Jets. Oh, there you go. Come on, man, get out my head. You guys really think the Jets would be on? The <laughs> yes. List? Really? They're going to need a coach after this year. With that history, and Bill are they Belichick on, could go back. Are they on the list, with, Jonas? With all that history, like you think, Jonas. That is correct. The New York Jets are second <laughs> at 5-1 to one to hire Bill Belichick, which let me tell you this right now. If he takes the Jets job, that, that is an indication. I have one more team. I have one more team, Jonas. <laughs> but wouldn't that be an indication that he hates Bob Kraft? Like, yes, this is a maybe. revenge tour. Can All I right. give you the final team on your list? Yes. The New York Giants. It has to be. No, that's There's, a good one. They are sitting at, there. And they're sitting at 10-1. to one. 10 to 1 are the New York Giants. So they are also on this one. list as well, too. Uh, the team that I thought was interesting, which, if you believe that there's been a mending of the fences, is also the Raiders sitting at 10 to 1. Oh, no way. I don't like oh, that at no all. No way. Okay, but Brady's like the that. owner. He's part of ownership. And if they've mended no, fences. Not. That, that hasn't gone part of ownership. Okay, well, 
he doesn't... Actually, I, I just t- spoke to someone in know about that last night. He, he, that has not gotten through. Is it going Basically, to Basically... No, because of him having to, to pick. He, he needs to do broadcasting or he have a potential chance of being an ownership, but you can't do both. Oh, so is that breaking news? I wouldn't say it's breaking news. I think that's always been what's been reported. Yeah, but he's still, like, they're still in the process, aren't they? To try and get it figured uh, out. It's been it? kind of quieted down. All right, well, the Raiders are there, 10 to 1. Uh, the remaining teams would be the Buffalo Bills at twelve to one, the Saints at twelve to one, and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers at twelve Saints. to one. There's not a shot in hell he goes to Tampa Bay and tries to do what Brady did without Brady. So Tampa Bay makes no sense whatsoever. Uh, I don't know that the Bills make a whole lot of sense unless again he just he's looking for some revenge and they do have a quarterback there, so that could help. But uh, the Dallas Cowboys, the Jets, the Eagles, and the Bears are the four teams listed as the uh, top of the top of the line for Belichick. The Jets, the Jets would by far and away be the most interesting as far as potential landing spots because that would just let him with Rodgers. That'd be amazing. Um, and also just the fact that he wants to stick it to Robert Kraft. Like, just, just yeah, wants to, uh, you know, give him the double birds and let him know uh, this is what you did to me. Like, you could have had me this whole time, but here I am ready to ruin your hopes and your dreams. So Jeez. Is that because he's got the red ass? Well, yeah. I mean, you know, he, he was misrepresented. I mean, Robert Kraft had that documentary that came out it was his production company on the credits and all they did was make belichick look like a horse's ass it's like come on man guy deserves a little bit more love than that on the way out the door but uh that is the uh that is the update on uh belichick uh who's which team are finish. you putting your money on <sighs> the giants i like that's that's the team that he's and the organization that he respects the most because of his time that he spent there. And based on what we've seen on HBO and how they feel about Daniel Jones and, and I like Brian Dayball a lot, but I, I, I wonder if that ownership group looks at it as an opportunity to bring in somebody that they helped groom from all those years past. If they're going to be in the quarterback market again, like maybe they just start and hand the keys over to Belichick and say, the organization's yours. We don't want to get in the way. We just want to bring back this this team and this franchise to the promised land. To me, the Giants make a lot of sense for him, personally and professionally. But Yeah. It's almost know. like you bring it full circle, right? Yeah. I mean, he had some good runs there. Definitely would be full circle. Um, and he's got Thibodeau. Man, he ain't no LT, but he ain't bad. Got Brian yeah, Burns he got too. Got a dude off that. Yeah, he got, got a Burns dude as well. off that edge. 